Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Wim Stenen. Uh, I'm a fashion photographer from uh, Belgium, not so far located from Brussels. Uh, today we are here in uh, the SVDU studios, a uh, location where I often work, uh, where I prepare my fashion and art shots. Um, I'm here today to make my first video for Photodemi. Uh, I'm very proud to be a member of this community and I want to show you what I'm doing why I'm doing it and I hope everybody can learn something from each other, me from you and maybe you from me. My model for today is uh, the beautiful Melissa. She is uh, not so high but uh, don't be amazed, she is a good model and today she did also her own makeup. As you can see, you maybe can go a little closer to the camera. Uh, the theme for today is Dark Owls Melissa. So we have chosen to have a very dark makeup, uh, very inspired by, let's say, a lot of rings and lots of uh, walk-off games. So I think you have done a nice job. We have chosen for a classy outfit, sexy but not too much. Or either we will go a little bit more sexy but still with class of course. I will set up the live equipment, I will show you what I'm doing. Uh, today I'm going to try to work with very hard light, beauty dish. Uh, I want to set up a light equipment where it looks like the sun is falling to the clouds, uh, right to the trees. So a highlight and just some uh, extra points. Um, if there's some noise, it's just a heater, don't be scared. But we don't want our models to have cold. To take care of your models is always very important. Okay, here we go. Have an idea. Today I'm going to work with my camera. It's a Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, a semi-professional camera, very good for this kind of work. And we're going to prepare them. So first of course, we take a battery. If possible, fully charged. And we go to the settings. Now for studio, uh, most of the time, it's very simple. We put them on uh, quick. And then we're going to set some settings like, for example, first of all, white balance to flashing lights, very important. ISO 100. I will put my uh, other settings later when my jet case is on, but normally we go for 100 or 125. Uh, other settings are less used in studio. So I check my other settings. I'm photographing in RAW on both cards and I just use manual focus. So now I put it off. Always put your camera off before you put on an objective. And I'm going to add my Sigma lens. This is a Sigma 50mm fixed uh, wide. I prefer to use a fixed white. It takes uh, more work because you have to move yourself. But the sharpness of this objective is amazing. So, put on again the camera and check my latest settings. 125. By I start normally with 5.6. It works often great. But uh, we need to adjust, of course. So, or some things left because I want to test a lot of light now and I have all my own way for doing this. This is now standing in the studio so we can set up our light equipment. We have three lights. Uh, here in front of us the main light which I will show to you. So this is our main light. Our little equipment which is used also in uh, Belgian television studios. I'm using a beauty dish today with a lot of hard light. This can because I want to work with hard lighter set. I want to have an effect that the sun is coming through the sky. For that reason, I'm going to use a bit of light here and an attention point just to make sure my head of hair is coming out. We put this on a line of 45 degrees and make sure it's into the right place with attention because your lights will be extremely warm. 
I uh, found a little problem because my uh, standard light is not working, so you don't see the effect directly, but we will test it. Then I will do first my light test and I always test it on the lamps themselves. So, just testing the light. Then I test the remote. Testing all three of them. That's okay. Testing the remote again, but now verifying if the other lamps are running. That seems clear to me. Now, of course, the settings are not right at the moment. Just uh, put something general, so we have to take a look at that. I take my trigger. Before I put it on, sorry. I will test the connection with my lens. Because if I do before, it can be a problem with the connection here. Small tip. So I put the trigger on the camera, test again, and as you see, I have a small problem. And now it's fixed. So to make sure just that you avoid that. Looking at my settings. And then just closing through my hole. And making a test shot. Now, my test shot is lots too bright, but we'll adjust it, of course. Going to an 8, for example. Even more. Too much. I will start the model later. I will just focus on my light, nothing else but light. That's about what we want to have. So, this is what we're looking for uh, a green key background because you want to make a fantasized world afterwards. Uh, Nice light with some highlights. We only have to take attention of the shadows, but I don't want to eliminate them all because with this kind of shoot, um, I really want something well a bit uh, more darker, not uh, clean and uh, as always in fashion. Okay, we will go on with uh, positioning the light, and we come back right here. So I'm positioned my model at the right spot. That means he's a rather distant from the wall. Uh, lots of photographers put their models too close to the wall. So if you take a picture, it's very difficult to have the impression that your model is not well integrated in the wall. So put her up um, two, three meter from the wall. Put her also as close as possible to your lights. Uh, your light will be a lot softer. The main light is the light here at the right side. I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna do some uh, close ups to see if that's okay. And I will position my model better. Can I come a little bit closer to here? So, yeah. And I look right in the light. Okay. I like your pose. Down at the course, yeah. Communication is the most important part of a model for the shoot. If you have no communication with your model, your shoot will be a disaster. So, just tell your model what you want that she has to do. She doesn't know. As good as she is, even big professionals want to know what you want. And then we enter the result in one shot, 
like this. Now, of course, it's green, and the green is not so going too well with this setup, but we will replace that later with, uh, well, uh, Photoshop with Greg McCrums. Uh, we have nice shadows, nice highlights, and another detail, detail in the coating is really important. Now, Melissa is not so big, so I want to look her bare. For that reason, I'm going to go down on my knees, as low as possible. Okay, Melissa. Uh, can you take the S shape, so move your hips. Yeah. And now, uh, okay. I want to see both hands, so... No, that's not, that's not bad, that's good, that's okay, that's okay. Like that. Okay. okay, and now a very... Uh, hard, no, you keep your hands as they are, well, and the natural like this, yeah, grab your jacket. And I want to really look hard, but don't forget to look in the light, because otherwise you have to have separate shadows. And that's exactly. Now every time when you make a photo, you can move a little bit. I'm not zooming in because of a fixed distance, so I have to move. And now I have my model freewheel. Okay, let's go right here. I will correct if needed. But first, I take my shots. Keep it because it's very nice. I'm put sharp on the closest eye to me. And when I've done some shots, I show them to my mom. Some photographers don't like that. I like it because she knows to know what you are doing. So I go now to Melissa. And Melissa, this is what we are doing now. Something really different than the other shoot, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is something else. I want to make some more like this in symmetry, real symmetry. So, both hands, yeah, but in symmetry, real symmetry. Yeah. And I'm looking forward, really looking forward like you are the queen. Yeah. Okay? Now you have to come a little bit closer and a little bit through the light. Some more, a little bit more, stop. Then I take the same shot. That's better. I'm just going to reduce the light with one step. Maybe two. Okay, can you put the same arms on the same symmetric, really symmetric, and just open the top? Yes. Good. And how strong I'm looking. You're hot as hell, and you're in charge. Nice shot. And we're going to go the opposite to create a really different effect. More symmetry in your hands because we do have a powerful look. And that arm, only the top of your arm, a little bit, that's too much. Like that, yes. Your model doesn't see what she is doing unless you have a mirror. So you have to tell her. The same shot, now you look a little bit more to the light. Really in the light this time. Don't ask it often, but this time. And shoot. Okay, I'm doing great. I'm going to show people what I've done here. This is my last shot. You'll see here all the highlights, the shadow. Some people hate it. I adore it. Matter of taste.
the same one but more classic fashion. Look at the position of the hands. Normally I was asking model to use the hands as a tunic, but this time for once it works because I really want a powerful look. Here it's more glamour, so we position our hands different. So we go on in some minutes. Okay, our model is back. We have now uh, changed the styling a bit. Uh, more UT, still classy. I added some elements uh, to make it extra sportive, extra lot of the wing style. Now, Melissa is a lady with very nice curves. We're going to use that. Uh, we're going to use S pose. S pose is that she uses her hips. Please show the X pose, yes. Now, S pose you can do like this from two sides, or you can take it from the side way. Can you come close to just in front of me? No? Okay. This is also an S pose from the side. Now, here I'm always saying something which is uh, uh, boots, put your boots uh, in front and your butt behind because you cannot express this as much as possible to always be reduced in your shots in longness please can you do it really well uh, i show it like this yes so now we're going to do the same we're going to position in the right light and now we're going to take a shot okay so we come a bit closer to him this side always important to show the model what you're doing to do Show her where she needs to be. Okay, and we're going to do the same, and then we're going to do the S pose from the sides. Yes, show the bits. Now, I'm going to ask you just to lower this a little bit, so we see a little more of your bust. This one. I don't touch her, I ask her. Very important, don't touch her mouth. Okay. I'm going to take some uh, light shots to see if all is fine. I didn't live through that, uh, but the bottom maybe I could like at the strip light because uh, all is now really for dark light, but I can lift this up. Well, this is uh, nice to make the same, so I'm going to ask you to repeat, but now I'm going to make all this only full body shot, a half body shot. Okay, can you put it just on your right hand? Really move your body to the behind and front. Really make the S shape more, more trust. Really, really. Yeah. If you finish, you will be tired. Even if you do 10 minutes. I always change my camera position. Because you don't see from one position what you see from the others. Can you bring in your second hand to make a picture? Yeah, that's nice. Now we're going to add expression. Yeah, I want to make people see what you're feeling. Look who had the loss of someone, someone who you like a lot. Maybe a dog. Oh, I forget the guys. Help them out with talking what you're doing. Okay, you can come closer. You're going to do the same thing, but you turn the opposite. Turn to the light. Now you do the same. Now I want to see your shoulder. And now you can make your shoulder, only your shoulder, I want you to put it off. So it's on one side. No, uh, just uh, put it on, sleeve off. Yeah, it, uh, just one, and then you can play with it. Yes, that's it. And I look a little bit bored, don't know what to do. Once your second hand, I'll show the picture. Take some shots, check the light. 
Throw your partner, take your position. Okay, now we're going to change the expression. I told you something really rude. I'm a photographer who has uh, bad intentions and you're mad at me. Really mad. I want you mad. The body fit on someone else. That's what I mean, baby. Yeah, you're angry. Extremely angry. Show it to me. Show me that girl. The more angry I touch you. You saw it with another woman. Here's the case sheet. It's just in the back. Just for the film. See what we have? This is our eyes I want to have. Very nice. Sweet light. So, I'm showing my model the results. And then I show it to you. Models goes always fast. Remember that. So we start with some uh, body shots. I'll put them on the screen later. Look at the details. Always highlights. Always shadows. I have to change some things here because of my position. It's easy to do. Like or hate the shadow. Maybe your cup of tea. You can zoom in later. I must have other motions. So that's what we did today. I wish you have a very nice day, and uh, I will show you later also some work on uh, post processing. All right, bye.